Greetings, beloveds. The sense of being in love, the sense of infatuation, a sense of finding another whom you are able to grant special feelings of love to this special relationship. It's an indication, beloveds. It is a, a guidepost along the way of your journey of the relationship that you yourself are meant to have, not only with yourself, but with all beings that the creator himself has granted. And you find a person and you say, I love this person above all others. This person completes me. This person is the fulfillment of my dreams. This person evokes feelings inside of me, physically, spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. I have never felt this way about another. I am happy when I am with this person. This person brings me joy. I love to think about them. I love to obsess about them. And you have forgotten along the way, beloved ones, that this is merely an aspect of you. It is allowing you to see the love that is possible for you to grant, not only to this beloved, but to all beings. Why would you not extend those feelings to all? Why would you not let yourselves be drawn to all beings? Because there is something that you see in other beings that you say, ah, this I will judge, this I will reject, this I will say should not be. And you create this division between the beloved and the non-beloved. And it lends itself more and more to this feeling of duality This beloved one has developed a crush. And the recipient of her admiration, her love, is merely a reflection of the love that she is feeling for herself. For it is easy, sometimes easier, to see the reflection within the mirror than to look upon your own countenance and see it within yourself. There is a musician, a sweet, beautiful voice that has strummed the notes of her heart. And there is childlike feeling of a crush upon someone that would speak so sweetly to her soul. Allow yourself to see and recognize, beloveds, that music is a way of reaching the heart that is above words. So find your voice within you to sing, beloveds, and let yourself fall in love with the sound of your own voice, knowing that when you hear the song of another, it is indeed an aspect of you. Allow yourself to find the innocence in that, the tenderness in that, to feel fulfilled by a song that you yourself sing Every voice that speaks to you is the voice of God. Every song that sings to you is the song of God. Can you allow yourselves to feel that sense of love, that sense of joy, that sense of fulfillment in something that looks like it appears to be external to you, but yet could only truly exist from within? There is a joyful noise, a note that each of you strike in the sound of the universe that is unique. There is no other note that is the one that you are. There is no other voice that is the voice that you are. There is no other song that is the song that you are. 
You may sing the song of others, but what is your song, beloved? What is your soul purpose? What are you here to express, to experience, to love, and to give? Become still, beloved ones, and allow yourself to hear the expression that you are. Know that you are being of service to spirit when you allow that voice to come through you. You are indeed all channels, and you will find your way in this journey. You will find your way to love and to truth. It is your destiny. Allow the sounds of love and the music along the way to guide you, guide you back to your truth, back to your heart. There is a desire within you to feel only love, there is a desire within you to return once again to the kingdom. There is indeed a desire within you to be as you are created. And that is an embodiment of love. So allow the love to flow through you. Allow yourselves to hear it in the music, to hear the music that you are. For your words are healing the beings that are meant to hear your words will, and they will be healed by you. Allow yourself to share, beloveds, what it is that you receive. Share your gifts, share your abilities, share your consciousness, share your music, share your joy, share your love. For that is your soul's purpose to ignite the light of others as yours is being ignited, as yours is lit and burning brightly. Bring forth your joyful noise. Bring forth your song and sing it loudly and boldly and proudly for all to hear, beloveds. For your voice is needed. Your voice is necessary. Your voice is indeed the voice of God. And when you sing with that consciousness, when you lift your song and praise. All will incline their heads and say, what is that beautiful, beautiful song that is being sung? And you will feel love flourish within your heart. Know that we are with you in this song, beloveds. We sing to you with words of love. There are indeed choirs of angels that are singing your praises. Allow yourselves to sit in stillness and hear the voice of love, the voice of love that you are, for you are indeed the voice of love. Our blessings to you always, beloved ones, and we will speak with you again. <laughs>